We continue now at the top of Daf Kuf of Vav Amid Aleph Maseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf 106a. The Mishnah says, "Besimonov Uva Mitzarov." Let's say a seller sells a piece of land to a buyer, and he identifies the piece of land with its landmarks and with its boundaries, meaning it's an exact piece of land with boundaries. But the seller tells the buyer that the land is a certain size, and it turns out that it's smaller than that size. So the Mishnah says, "Pachos Mishasus." If it's less. If it's less than one sixth difference, meaning the size discrepancy is very small, so he gio, so then we say that the sale goes through. But ad shasus, but let's say it is until one sixth, meaning to say it's really more than one sixth uh, in terms of how small it is compared to what the seller said. So then yanaka, so then the Mishnah says he has to deduct from the price, then the buyer pays less because he, get, he got a smaller parcel of land. We will note over here that there's some discussion among the Rishonim whether the proper gear says pachos mishasus or pachos. Shesus, and we will go with the Girsa Pachos Mishasus again if the discrepancy is smaller than one sixth. And the Gemara says, Itmar was stated the following Machlukas Amoroim. Ravuna Amar Ravuna says, Shesus Kepachos Mishasus. He says, What if it's exactly one sixth? That's the Machlukas Amoroim, because again, the Mishnah talks about if it's less than one sixth difference or if it's more than one sixth difference. What, what if it's exactly one sixth? Ravuna says that a, one sixth is the same as less than one sixth, meaning that's considered to be a small discrepancy that does not matter. Rav Yehuda, and Rav Yehuda says, Shesus Kiyoser Mishasus, if it's exactly one-sixth, it's like more than one-sixth discrepancy, and therefore we would say in such a situation he does have to deduct from the price of the field. And the Gemara says, Rav Huna Amar Shesus Kipachos Mishasus, Rav Huna says that one-sixth is the same as less than a sixth. Hachi Kamar, here's how you understand the Mishnah, this is how you read it. Pachos Mishasus Ushasus Bechlal, if it's less than one-sixth, including one-sixth, so then he gio, so then we say that the sale goes through. Yoser Mishasus Yanake, but if it's more than a sixth, then he has to deduct from the price. And the Gemara continues, Rav Yehuda, Amar, Rav Yehuda says, Shesus Kiyoser Mishasus, that one six is like more than a six, that's considered a significant discrepancy. In Hachi Kamar, this is what the Mishnah is saying, Pachos Mishasus Higiyo, if it's less than one six, then the sale goes through. Ad Shesus, or Shesus Bechlal, if it's one, if it's until one six, then one six is included, so then it's considered already significant, and Yenake, so then he has to deduct from the price. And the Gemara continues, Mesve, we have a question from the following, Brisa, Besimonov Uv Mitzarov, the same as the Mishnah, he sells it by its landmark, and by its boundary lines. So here the Brisa says, Piches Shesus Ohoser Shesus. If it's less by a sixth or more than or more by a sixth, that sounds like we're talking about exactly a sixth. Harehu Keshum Hadayonin. It is like the evaluation of the judges and Higio and the sale goes through. And when the Brisa says Shum Hadayonin, that's a reference to a situation where judges evaluate a piece of property on behalf of orphans and the evaluation is incorrect. And there, the, the percent discrepancy that we go by is one sixth exactly. And so that's that's what the Gemara says. Vahashum hadayonim to shesus kiyoser mishasusu by shum hadayonim. If they make a mistake of one sixth, that's the same as making a mistake of more than one sixth. That's considered to be a significant error in such a situation. We have to go back on the evaluation, and so therefore it sounds like one sixth from this brisa is exactly the same as more than one sixth. And the Gemara says, Amalach Rav Huna, Rav Huna will say to you again. Rav Huna is the one that says that one sixth is like less than a sixth. He'll understand as follows: Vilatayimich, according to your reasoning, he gio katani. If you look at the price, it also says Higiyo. It says that the sale goes through. So that sounds like the opposite. That sounds like one sixth is considered to be insignificant. That actually sounds like Ravuna. Ella, so rather, what do you have to say? How do we understand the price? So, Kishum Hadayon and Velo Kishum Hadayon. It's like the evaluation of the judges, but it's not exactly like the evaluation of the judges. Kishum Hadayon and Lishasos. It's like the evaluation of the judges that we follow one sixth as our target number in terms of determining whether this is considered significant or not. However, Velo Kishum Hadayon, but it's not exactly. Exactly like Shum Hadayonim, the Ilu Hasam Batal Mekach, because by Shum Hadayonim, if it's exactly at one six, we say that the entire sale is nullified. The Ilu Hacha, whereas over here, Higio, here we say that the sale goes through. In other words, we do go by one six in determining. That is the marker to determine significance, but there is a difference. By Shum Hadayonim, if it's exactly one six, so we say it's the same as if it's more than one six, but over here, in this case, as Rafuna said, if it's exactly one six, it will still be considered like it's less than one six. And the Gemara continues, Rapapa Zavan Aramehu Gavra. Rapapa bought some land from an individual, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Kufavav Amid Beis.